All right, so in the last video, we were able to echo some values from the view all users page, right? So we came here and we click on edit. We send that parameter via the URL, that get request, and we were able to catch it and echo it right here. Now, the next step is to, instead of echoing this, we already know that that works, right? We're receiving the parameter. We need to echo the fields right here. We need to echo the first name, last name, username, and all these fields here. And then after that, we need to update it. So the first thing is to pull this information out. So how are we going to do that? All right, so let's think for a minute. If we click the edit user, then we get all this functionality here. Well, I don't want all this functionality right now. I'm not going to use it right now. I mean, I want it, but I'm not going to use it. And we are not going to be using this either because this is a copy from the add user page. This is inserting something into the database. We don't want to insert, we want to update. So right now, what we need to do right here is, instead of echoing this, we need to turn this into a ID, right? So we're gonna say the user ID or something like that, right? So we need, we turn that on and we need to do a query here. So we need to go back to maybe another file that we have that a query like that for users and that would be let me see view all users have that file that we need that code that piece of code right here so let's grab some of this let's go back to the edit user page and I'm just gonna go and use this one here edit user all right and I'm gonna copy all that code right here perfect we're gonna modify this a little bit make sure you close this while Stay a uh, loop right here. All right, all right. So if we get this, if we get the edit user, we're gonna be doing all this. We're gonna convert the edit user parameter into the user ID variable, and then we're gonna say select from what users where user ID. That's the column in the database equals what this user ID right here, right? Perfect. All right, we don't need to put codes or anything around this since this is an integer, remember that? So select users query, let's just call it query, just to name it a little different from the add user page. And let's put that here also. All right, and we're gonna be pulling all this data out. So now let's check all this data, right? Let's echo this and let's just echo the username. Let's see how that goes. All right. Let's go here, let's go to the view all users and let's click here and then we see that we got Rico there. Perfect. So it is working. So now let's go ahead and echo this somewhere else, right? Let's go to the fields where we have the first name and all that, the form, the HTML form right here. So what we need to do is actually fill in the value attribute here that this has by default. Is empty by default, but we need we're gonna fill it up with some PHP, right? Some dynamic data. So let's use that value. And if I can get this right, that would be nice. So this would be the first name. So let's say first name. That's the variable we have on top, all right? Remember that. So let's go ahead and see if that works. Let's go to view users again, edit, and we have all the defined variable first name. All right. Let's make sure we have the right. Oh, there we go. We are misspelling that, right? So let's go to this and let's replace all that. There we go. Let's refresh. And now we got Rico. Perfect. All right. So this is working. We just got to remember how we name the variables on top. All right. So I'm going to do something very similar for all of them. For the last name, I'm going to do, let's just copy the whole value thing, attribute, and put it right here. And let me just make this a little smaller for me. So we, I'm going to echo the last name here. Last name, make sure you do the same. All right. I'm going to do this later. Right now, I want to worry about the other things. The value. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let me see something else right here. 
all right it's looking good make sure that this is the username I think this one doesn't have a prefix it's just username that's it and the email so user email and the password that's fine let's just echo the password but we're gonna be echoing the just little dots because we have the type attribute right here All right what else let's let's check it out let's check it out let's let's see what's going on alright so we got everything here Rico the email and even the password perfect All right so now we need to work on this we need to echo right if this user is a subscriber or admin then we need to change it right we're gonna do that on the next one since it requires a little bit of code and I'm gonna show you how to do that right so perfect so we've done this and we come very far if you are here with me doing this lecture here congratulations you're one of the few that actually finish what they start so again I see you in the next lecture and thank you so much bye bye